his tag is E-Samus because E-Samus. Oh, okay. So he's always, uh, he's always made Samus. But if I recall right, he played uh, Pikachu in Brawl. Yeah, that's where I knew him from. It was a Pikachu yeah, player. He was, he was a well-known Pikachu player, um, but he actually he beat Javi in pools last year at Apex. Really? Yeah, so he's, he's a very solid player. He's very good. Now, we, Bladewise is from Washington. He's at the same region as Silent Wolf, and he plays with him a lot. Yeah, shout-outs to West, West Coast came in full force. I think we've had West Coast on the screen for, like, the last, like, 10 sets. Like, yeah. They, they have been in winner's finals of all their pools. They are doing an excellent job here at Apex 2014. So, Peach for Samus. You, you want to walk us through this matchup a little bit? Because it's a little bit of an awkward one. It is a very awkward match because they're both very floaty characters, and usually when someone goes up against one of these guys, they want to look for combos, you know, just here and there, little pokes. And Samus is all about pokes, and Peach is actually a lot about pressure. And she can get on your shield and do a lot of pressure, but Samus can up be out of that. But generally, it's going to be a lengthy matchup. Yeah. Both these characters have minimalish kill moves. Their kill moves are not the greatest. And uh, it really requires that the other person either poorly the eyes or has a lot of percent. So you're going to see these stocks last a really long time if either player doesn't mess up. So we're kind of in uh, a war of attrition here for this matchup. Yeah, because the thing is, if you mess up, these characters are both you know bait oriented. That's how you play them, or at least more so Samus and uh, to a degree Peach, because Peach can't approach Samus that well. Blade so that's doing an amazing job with these fair. That's like his fifth fair. <laughs> He's just yeah. slapping her. <laughs> He's like, stop it. No, stop it. All right, nice and out of shield. Great out of pressure. Uh, great, like, get me out of pressure option. Ooh. Well, actually, I remember this Peach player now. I saw a video of him versus Hax at the Canadian tournament. And uh, he was doing amazing versus Hax, Captain Falcon. Almost took him out. Uh, Hex did wind up winning that set, but he did so great. So yeah, uh, Bladewise is definitely no slouch at all. Yeah, and I'm I'm really not sure what kind of experience he has against Samus. Yeah. Uh, I want to say minimal experience because over in Washington, uh, he's in Washington. Washington and Oregon don't really have strong Samus players. Yeah. I would think for any major-ish West Coast tournament. They probably can travel down and play with hugs, but that probably requires kind of a special occasion. I know it's not, it's pretty long drive through California. Like, regardless of what part of it you're going to, yeah, it's, it's always a long drive. It's a, so. it's a very long drive. Yeah, so, it might not be too inexperienced, but he has traveled to a lot of majors. As I just said, I saw him at the Canadian tournament. He's here at Apex. I'm sure he was here at the last Apex. Like. So he does have the traveling experience. So maybe if, even if he doesn't have the Samus experience in his own, great catch! Yeah. Like, Ooh, that switch was, like, instantaneous. Let's see what he does with this. He's been doing a really good job of getting around those missiles as well. Oh, gets to get it! Nice shield stab. Very yeah. nice. Hit him with the fair to force a defensive reaction, and then just double stitched him. He knew that the, the first one would get the shield so low that the second one would either break the shield or shield stab. Yep. And that's the third hit. It's again. Fourth it's hit. again. It's gonna dissipate really soon after being thrown, so he has to throw it at like almost pink point blank now. Uh, actually, it lasted yep. a pretty long time still. Yeah, it did. He's been recatching it pretty quickly. That stitch face was a great momentum turner for Bladewise. He, he's up almost an entire stock now just because of the stitch face. Yep, a good bit of RNG for him. Great DI on the turn up to get back on stage safely for ESAM. He's gonna have to play this Ooh. slow and steady Order. wins the race game now. This is going to be a hard matchup. Great interception of the grapple there by Bladewise. Yeah, that was awesome. Most players would have just said, okay, I'm going to wait for you to pop up after your grapple, and then I'm going to punish you. Yeah. But it actually is uh, the safer option to go ahead and go for them while they're still in their grapple right. animation. Asam has some great pressure going on right now. Let's see if he can keep her from... Uh, fortunately, he wasn't able to keep her from landing, and now Peach is back on stage in a comfortable position. Is that another? That is another. It is another... Uh, this is so unfortunate for Isan. Peach has a very slight chance of pulling out a Stitch Face turn up whenever she pulls turn up from the ground. And the Stitch Face turn up is, I want to say, as powerful as like a Falcon Punch. Like it's, it's, it's like 30 something percent. I believe it gives you 32 percent damage. Yeah. And it, as you saw recently from his first kill, like look at the knockback on it. It's ridiculous. It's very a, if Peach is able to draw those successfully in a match, it gives her so much kill potential and completely changes the dynamic of the match because you have to completely focus on avoiding it. 
And unfortunately, Esam wasn't able to get out of the way. <laughs> you, see, you see how he's shaking his head? He's like, come on, two stitch faces? I mean, but that's the thing. When you play these floaty against floaty characters, uh, Peach has a lot of time to pull turnips mm -hmm. during the neutral game because Samus is just not fast enough to get over there and punish her. And even if she's close enough to punish, the punish is just not strong enough for the trade off that of whether Peach gets to stitch face or not. So she's going to keep plucking turnips out of the ground, just keep plucking them as you saw in that match. She probably pulled 20, 30 turnips that match. Oh, yeah, he pulled a whole bunch. And she also has Ooh. a chance of pulling up a bomb, which is pretty much the same effect as a stitch face. <laughs> yeah. And a uh, beam sword, which is not as good. But still yeah. very powerful and gives her a lot of kill potential. All right, so I thought this might happen. Esam chose this stage because it's very easy, easy to just fill the stage with missiles with those platforms. Yep. Samus's short hop doesn't normally reach the top platform on the stage, but when you cast a missile, uh, it changes her body's stance in a way that she lands on the miss on the platform. And whenever she lands while shooting a missile, it cancels all lag and gives her regular landing lag as if uh, she was just landing from a jump. So she's able to act yep. much sooner, and she's able to just drop and shoot another missile, as you've seen already at least 10 to 15 times in the last 30 seconds, and allows her to like pretty much missile barrage her way into the matchup. Tries to go for a really early air dodge there. It's a very good, uh, very good defensive tool. It can be a very good offensive tool too. It's really just kind of a tight turning, yep. uh, a tight turning tactic. It controls a lot of space, but uh, characters aren't too worried about it. Most missiles can be canceled out with just regular attacks. Like you can just attack them and they explode and they don't do any damage to you. So it's really good. Um, it's a really good pressure tool if your opponent is unfamiliar with how to deal with missiles. But Bladewise seems to be able to adjust just fine. Uh, that was a really nice fade back. He, uh, he wanted to go for a back air there, but he saw the forward smash coming and faded back from it. Alright, so traditionally we don't see people go over there, ever. Yeah. I think Bladewise feels really confident. He's like, you pick your counter pick, you're using your strategy, and I'm still winning. Wow, what an early kill from the down smash. Uh, he caught him at the very top of the tree, so close to the short ceiling. And Bladewise, unfortunately, DI'd it poorly, actually. He DI'd to try to live, but it wound up just sending him further up, and it actually killed him. Sam is just trying to get some space, try to start to some offense. That's his grappling uh, there by the turnout. No, I notice he's not necessarily capitalizing, oh there we go, on Peach when she's in the air because that's when she's most vulnerable. I mean, she does have her nair and her back air, but if you get directly under Peach, most up airs are going to just uh, outright beat her down air. Yep. Alright, nice pressure. Sam really wants to get this stock out of the way. He wants to put it on even ground so that at least his pressure is evening out the percents and potentially getting him back in the lead. Nice near punish. Great combo. But unfortunately, uh, a bit too far in and Bladewise is able to follow it and just like that Bladewise retains his lead. Yeah, as a forward smash which is considered Samus' most useful kill move wasn't even going to kill there at 120%, so it's very difficult for these characters to kill each other. Uh, yeah, I, guess, I mean, they are both floaty characters, and they are, you know, technically easier to kill, but neither of them have great kill moves. That shield is so small for Samus. She's going to be throwing out a lot of attacks now. She doesn't want to pitch anywhere near her shield. Very right, nice back air. Sam is actually taking control of this match now. Yeah, he's, he's uh, keeping him out with a lot of nares right now. It's kind of reminiscent of the, of the Toph and Elijah match where Toph was just kind of approaching so often that he was just running into everything. That's what it seems like. It seems like Bladewise is trying too hard to get in on Samus and East Sam is just keeping all his nares out, keeping his forward airs out, keeping his smash attacks out and Bladewise just keeps running into them. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ooh, Probably speaking of broken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take some pretty big damage, but not really any fear of dying anytime soon. He's going to get that stock off the top. Yeah, unfortunately he missed the sweet spot on his double jump there for the ledge. And Paige was able to punish with a down air into a neutral air. Such an intense battle right now. 30-30, dead even. 
Goes for it. It looks like he's going for a down smash right there. He sent these to clutch this out to uh, revive his chances of reaching tomorrow. Right now. Nice backwards, uh, backwards out of shield turn and throw. Bladewise is on a uh, set point right now with his stock. He's having a hard time getting past his missiles. He showed uh, an ability to get past them at the beginning of this match, but he hasn't been able to deal with them so effectively as the match has gone on. Sam showing no fear. Esam was originally, he was just spamming the missile to see how it would go, and now he's actually doing it strategically. Yep. I think that's where Bladewise is having a problem. Really, really searching for that stitch. <laughs> Unfortunately, the stage transformation makes it too difficult for either character to approach the other. Not, neither character has a good downward uh, attack, so coming in from above is very risky for either of them. Isam goes for a surprise charge shot, doesn't get it, Playwise gets a combo, just backs away, just wants to control the center of the stage. But Isam gets a nice missile. It doesn't go for the grab right there. May have been slightly out of range. Oh, oh, that's gonna be that. But anyways, they didn't have a jump, so he didn't have a jump or a float. So he just set the hail mary. Maybe Sam will come down here and I can bounce off him. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Just like that, he said, ties it up at one one. It was almost a six minute match. And this one will be another six minute <laughs> match. <laughs> I mean. Is, you just gotta do what you gotta do to win. You can't you can't be reckless in your approach in these types of matchups. And so I, both players are trying to play as cautious as possible. I think Blade White is trying to pick a stage where he won't get missiles as much, but it's hard. Samus can do it on every one of these stages except Dreamland to varying degrees. Right, both players going for some early aggression. Sam starting up his missile assault. That's a nice back air. Ooh. He's the air dodge. Punishes accordingly. Yeah, Play that was a really odd way to try and get out of that combo. I think maybe he just didn't want to be off the stage at any point. So he said, okay, I'm going to air dodge back onto the stage. Maybe take a couple more hits and still be on. Sam's missile canceling has been so on point. He's canceling even on like the top platform where most Samuses don't like jump up there and missile cancel. Looks like Bladewise is, uh, Bladewise is doing some reads uh, a little bit ahead of time. Some reads that should be reactions. He did a dash attack out of that platform there, assuming that Sam would just drop down. And I think if he had waited, he would have been able to get that dash attack in. You know, waited to see uh, if Sam was going to be dropping down or not. Oh, Sam was Great. trying to read a jump, but it's, it wasn't taking the bait. Ooh. Doesn't yeah. take the surprise charge at that time. Yeah, like I was just saying, uh, he should wait a little bit more. And he did right there and went and got the nair off. Sam has been a tad bit reckless with those nares in front of Peach's shield. Uh, Blade Wise is starting to snip them out and is punishing accordingly with the shield grab. Nice DI by Asim on the down air, but doesn't get it the second time. Oh. Eyes in the very corner of the stage. That's when you know a player influenced his DI to the max. When he dies in the very, very corner of the stage, there's literally no other room where he could control his character to go. With the max distance possible, but still unfortunately died. Trying to break that shield. Peach's shield is really small. Couldn't really do anything about that back here. Even if she had shielded, she would have got shield stabbed in her head because her shield was so small. Just like that, we have an even game again. Both these players are just grinding it out. They they, they understand the trials of the matchup and they're both uh, doing their hardest to just keep the game even. You don't want to fall behind in a matchup like this. It's really hard to come back. In yeah, a because both well, these so characters are so good at so good at camping. They're so yep. good at just waiting you out. Oh, oh. That was an unfortunate death face. Him. I think he wanted to refresh his invincibility with a double jump, but the turn up yeah. intercepted him, and just like that, Bladewise now has a one stock lead that, barring any gimps, could lead to a comfortable victory if he is able to keep the pressure on Esam. And he is getting a pretty significant amount of percentage on him that was a weird right now. <laughs> the turn up was like all the way at the back of the platform under him. He's like, no, I got this. <laughs> I got a grapple. Don't worry. It'll come to me. Ooh. 
Very nice double missile right there. Cancels the missile out, missile out with a turn up. Alright, Isam really trying to put the pressure on the shield and force Bladewise out of his shield so he can catch him. Maybe that's what he was meaning to do with the up tilt. Yeah, Samus' moves all cause a significant amount of shield decay and mm -hmm. they, they deteriorate the opponent's shield very much. Yeah. But she, she really is good at shield pressure. But they're, they're almost all very laggy. So Bladewise is sniffing out that you know he has enough shield strength to take a laggy attack and then punishing the laggy attack out of shield. So great play by Bladewise so far in that respect. Right, Bladewise got a little bit too aggressive right there when he came back and uh, went over to the edge, and he's taken 54% because of it. Seven, seven. Zero to 67 right now. Oh, gets counter attack there. Still the advantage. That should do it. No. He's able to he has a ba bomb. Oh boy. Nice air dodge. In the nair? Nope. Ooh. Nice follow up with the nair. Bladewise was ready for it though. Bladewise's nair seals that stock on Isam, and just like that, he's back on torn on match point. Oh, that is yep, face? He, yeah, he does have a stitchy. This is what gave him game one. Oh, Ooh. just like that, seventy-three percent out he, of nowhere. He was waiting for Bladewise to like move around and make. Great combo. Oh, that's good. Bladewise's do it. stitch combo were really on point that game. Man. Yeah. Unfortunately, Isam couldn't survive the onslaught of the stitch at any moment. Every every time Bladewise got a stitch, he was able to capitalize fully with it.